Friday, April 20th, 2012. We're in the pool area at Shazy Central Rural School. And the science and technology students here at CCRS have made some seaworthy vessels that are about to be tested. Cardboard and duct tape. And they're going to be racing, I guess, across the pool. The students are posing with their creations, and having their photos taken. Some of the younger students are making their way in to uh, get a view of what they will be in for in future years. And lifeguard is on duty, as you would expect. And we're expecting this to get underway momentarily. We appreciate uh, Nancy Besco alerting us to this. We've seen reports of it in the uh, newspapers uh, past years and quietly wondered why Hometown Cable was never invited. So, let the record show this is the first time Hometown Cable's ever been invited to this event. So, uh, we are anxiously anticipating the start of this this race, which I believe is uh, an annual undertaking. It looks like uh, most of the uh, people involved in the boats are uh, prefer prepared for the unlikely event that they could end up in the water. So uh, some of them uh, might end up in the water. I would say that most of them will not. I'm going to go on record right now as predicting that most of these folks will not. Uh, of course, the fact that these boats aren't very, uh, can't say aerodynamical, because it's uh, not air they're going through, but hydrodynamical, I guess. They have a blunt front and not a uh, torpedo type of front. Now it looks like they'll be coming at us here, which is good. I wasn't sure which direction they'd be heading. I, I saw all the boats lined up on this side. I thought maybe they'd go going sideways. It looks like they'll be coming at us and going back. And we've got the press Republican photographer Rob Fountain right next to us here. So. We want a still shot of this, uh, contact Rob. It's now after 1 p.m. This was scheduled to start at or around 1 p.m. Temperature 51 degrees outside, but it's nice and uh, comfortable here inside. More and more folks uh, crowding in. This is a highly anticipated event, I'm sure, among the student body. More and more uh, the younger students arriving, uh, surrounding the uh, the pool area. Like the instructions are being given to the students. The statues you see along the sides, those are from the original school. Uh, those were uh, sanctioned by uh, the school's uh, uh, constructor, uh, the financer. William H. Minor back uh, in 1916. They <laughs> the pirates of the Caribbean have entered their vessels and 
and uh, there we go. Some have uh, hand, uh, hands for paddles, others have constructed whoops, uh, cardboard paddles. These girls here do have a little bit of a torpedoed front here. There's our leaders. A sunken vessel. A sunken vessel. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Splashing water at their opponents. This cannot be condoned. Oh, the sunken vessel is being uh, towed out. Looks like the ladies are going to easily uh, win this one unless they spring a leak. <laughs> These guys are not making much progress here. <clears throat> I think uh, without the... Uh, there they go. Go. The winners on that race, or I don't know if they have to uh, put that boat back in after. As you can see, it got uh, kind of wet. There's some little wooden slats in there, probably to uh, keep the the uh, paddlers stationary. Looks like Rob has seen enough here. He's, or he's going to get a different angle, probably. The next contestants are lining up. Steve Patnode's here. I don't see his camera though. That's unusual. Okay, we are very shortly going to have our next uh, race here. I see uh, the uh, one, two, three, four, five, I'd say six more boats on the side, so. Uh, I guess they are timed. They are timed, so they'll compete against uh, the others. Uh, time. Uh, so I guess they won't have to go back in again. So when you're racing, you're racing uh, apparently not only the ones who are in the water with you, but also the ones who have uh, preceded or will follow your your race. The boats are in the water. This one to the right looks kind of tiny. I uh, hope the fellows in there are light. It looks like it's uh, all fellow. This guy here, whoops. Looks like a one man boat here. He's, I don't think, I don't know how he expects to. <laughs> These are one man boats here, one man boats. fronts there. I didn't notice that at the beginning because I guess I'd seen the back of the boats. This one's going to be a close one here. Well, this is going to be a close one. And the fellow with the wonderful paddles forgot to give himself room to, uh, to reach the water. Here we're going to have our winner. There's our winner. There's our second place finisher, and uh, I guess he has conceded defeat there. 
I would say uh, it's uh, not planning on uh, <laughs> reaching the water with your paddle. You needed some more ballast. So that boat is out of the water. It would have been better probably with a two-man operation because uh, extra weight might have might have been helpful in that particular situation. The lifeguard has uh, not been called into action yet, which is uh, important. Shazy Central Rural School, the 20th day of uh, April 2012. Science technology classes uh, showing off uh, their knowledge here. It's uh, being well received by the audience. Well received by the uh, younger students who have uh, said, hey, this is a good way to spend a school day, huh? It's a wonderful way to spend a school day inside the, inside the uh, pool area, watching the boat races. Boats are being brought over. Looks like a, another big one here. Not sure if this little one is in this next race or if it's one from the previous race. survive the uh, boarding portion of the uh, <laughs> obviously you don't get to uh, test your boat <laughs> before the battle because uh, your boat would be all soggy so <laughs> oh, the, there they go looks like they're uh, in a class by themselves <laughs> Looks like a washing machine box. It doesn't look like it's going to be too <laughs> seaworthy. We got enough marinas in their area. They could. Uh, Bring this down to one of the local marinas and see if they could. Uh, whoop! It's a three man. Uh, bad enough with two in there, and I'm going to put three in. Whoop! 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 <laughs> I predict uh, a Titanic. Uh, <laughs> A titanic circumstance here. Oh. Don't book your next Caribbean cruise with those guys. <laughs> It is now one soggy mess. And it looked so seaworthy when it, when it all started. Needed more duct tape on the bottom, I think. Now this little vessel here has more uh, duct tape than cardboard, I think. Are they going to go in by themselves, or are they going to race uh, side by side? Uh, there's one 
passenger entering. Two passengers entering. are watching here. It looks like they've got some investment in this, uh, this boat. Need another group. For another crew, not sure what, what he said here. They so better hurry up and get another boat in there because this one. Uh, this one's going to sink <laughs> very shortly. Rub a dub dub. Three boys in the tub. And soon they'll be going glub, glub, glub. Yeah, the girls safely on shore are uh, all full of laughs and giggles over there. Sit down, no standing in the boat. Four in it. No. Oh! What a surprise! It wasn't seaworthy with three, and ex adding a fourth didn't uh, enhance the possibilities. There's a small one. Oh, two people in a very small boat. Two people in a very small boat. It'll be in time there, 20 seconds. Uh oh, 30 seconds, they're timing the. Uh, uh oh. It's like you're fitting, how many people can you fit in a phone booth? All the kids are saying, what's a phone booth? In time. Thirty seconds with three. Can they get back to shore? They're getting back to shore. Are they going for four? They're going for, they're going for four. I don't. Uh, I don't foresee good things here. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. Women and children first. 
Hang on to your drawers. The boat is just a little bit wet. Uh, this one here, we're going to see how many people can get in this one. Making science and technology fun, that's the whole idea. Learn. This is a two men. We got three now. Yep, we got three. Three men in the tub. After 30 seconds. We got four. We got four. Four floaters. Scales here to see how heavy the uh, how heavy the weight load is. Five. Five very good friends right now. As they sing, getting to know you. It just about reached its limit. They're uh, going to go for six. Uh, looks like the skipper. The skipper is getting in. the boat. Don't wrap the boat, baby. Okay, this fella's gonna be added to the mix there, but mix, but uh, 
I think uh, I think we're about to see the sinking of the uh, Lusitania. Oh, young lady getting in. Oh, there's a guy. Look out! <laughs> Dive right in, fella. <laughs> Who would have guessed that that would have sank, huh? Who would have guessed that that would have sank when he dove in on top of it? I think every every vessel is the vessel is the, no, like another one coming over. They're not going to be happy till they've sunk everything in the school here. They've even got frogmen here. Right, another vessel coming over. Two girls getting in. going to be blocked here so I'm going to be on the move. Try to keep the camera rolling as we move over. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Two young ladies in the boat and it floats. Whatever floats your boat is what it takes today. I don't know if this will be an all-girl boat, boat or what. They've reached their 30 seconds. Oh, they're adding a boy. Three's company. Looks like they've reached their 30 seconds. Was he a saboteur? <laughs> Looks like there might be one more piece of dry cardboard.
course, they'd make this a lot more interesting if they did it in uh, Lake Champlain here in April. They have a volunteer. Thirty seconds. All of them. The fourth person. <laughs> Trying to keep balance. There we go. Oh, that Very fragile. Bring him in. There's five people. Okay, they let go. Everybody accounted for. Uh, that, I think, was the last piece of dry cardboard in the school. The spectators are leaving. Well, I would certainly have to call it a highly successful event. Great uh, boat race here at Shazy Central Rural School. Science and technology in action. Thanks for watching.